No, I've got a piece in um, the Imperial War Museum, all about my experiences as an evacuee. Yeah, well, I was evacuating. Mm. How old are you? 83. I'm 87. <laughs> okay, my name's Anne Donaghy, and I work here at the Burton and Morden Guild, and everything we do is to keep older people happy, healthy, independent, and enjoying their own environment. Uh, my name is Alice Nguan Kwaneta, it's a double barrel. I've lived here over, sorry, uh, I had a some stroke some time ago. Oh, well, mate, how you going? All right? It's pushing. All right, mate. My name is Ernie Satchel. I'm 77. I had a big family, but you're all dead now. Six brothers and six sisters. All got the old uh, cancer, all smoked. I don't, I don't smoke them. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't gamble. And don't mess with women. <laughs> no, women either. <laughs> My name is Hamish, and I was just thinking I can't think of much to add to what Anne said, really, except the fact that we uh, sort of just deliver group activities mostly for older people, and we try and make it as entertaining as possible. That we have sort of diverse activities from lunch club to uh, theatre production. And in between we have things such as poker, down to sort of outings. Exercise is a big issue with us, we do a lot of exercise classes. My name's Pam Halfpenny and I was born in 1942. I'm a volunteer here with the Merton Morden Guild and have been for, ooh, since 94. And uh, a long time and I've enjoyed every minute of it and seen a lot of changes over the years. I'm Christine Christie. I was born in 41. I help out in the lunch club. A lot of them that come have uh, some sort of dementia, so it's not an easy job. Yes. But it, it's rewarding to see them eating it when I do order it for them. I mean, there's still a place for bingo. I'm not going to knock it. But there's also other things. You know, people want to have a go at belly dancing. They want to have a go at Zumba. And our job is to make that accessible in a safe and healthy environment. Well, I come every Thursday morning for Keep Fit. And while we're keep, keeping fit, we are talking. Uh, Anne says if we don't talk, she thinks we're not breathing, you see. So. Yeah, I'm a volunteer driver. I do two, two days a week on a Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when they're, they're on holiday, like Hamish and Anne, yeah. I do a, maybe a couple more days a week. But, um, yeah, it gets, gets me quite a lot of interesting people, you know. Yeah. But what I've noticed here as the years I've been here is people, uh, older people are different. They are not who they were by either the way they look or what their aspirations are or what their needs are. Um, because it's, it's, it's not necessarily poverty being the biggest issue all the time, certainly not here. But what is is loneliness? It's lovely sometimes because people come in if they're lonely on their own. They just like to sit and chat and have a cup of tea or coffee. And it's nice to sort of chat to them and put them at ease, you know. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you get fed up you been by yourself and, you know, you're like, you're like something to talk to, you know what I mean? I've got to make my own life now because my son died four years ago and my husband died a year and five months before, so I, I've got nobody now, so I have to make my own life. So I come out to these clubs, which the council are trying to shut down, which I think is bad, really, because these clubs are worth a you know, more than what, what they think they are. Because they do get, you do see people, you can't talk to people. As I say, if they were stuck indoors in their own home, they'd see nobody, talk to nobody. Very sad when that happens, really. So it is important, isn't it? I mean, most of them have families, but they don't always live near them. You know, mm. sometimes they're miles and miles away. So they don't see those very often yeah. either. My daughter phones me up at least once a day. She lives in Ballam, I live in Wimbledon, so uh, <coughs> my son's, one lives in Germany, the, the other one lives up in Cheshire, so they like to travel and that's it. Actually, my ideal has always been, it sounds a bit weird, that we should all die at bus stops. We should be fit enough to get on and off buses. <laughs> and then if you die at a bus stop, it means you're either looking forward to going somewhere or you've come back from somewhere lovely and you have nice memories. 
you know, ideally no one wants to sit in an armchair in a nursing home. Do you remember Pi Records? Yes. I worked there too, and we used to see all the stars. Elton John was just starting when he used to come, but I like Max Bygrave. I want to tell you a story, and they come. 